What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 40 update. This week they've added new armor, two new textiles benches, and some other changes here and there. They've also completely reworked armor. This is an armor update. Let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> Your armor is so much weaker. <laughs> Thank you. Icarus Week 40 Armor Revamp. Icarus Week 40 update. Two new armor sets and an armor system rework. They've added two new armor sets, two new armor benches, and reworked the armor system with balances and improvements. This week's focus is the armor system as we address some balance issues and gaps in the overall structure. This includes a number of cost and stats adjustments, plus two brand new armor sets so there is armor available for every tier. Alongside these are two new benches that better organize the different tiers of armor available. Have a read into our progress for identifying these issues and how we address them with the changes we've rolled out. At the bottom you also find a note about recent character disappearances and what to do if you have been affected. This week, the armor system in Icarus has received a rework. Different types of armor are now categorized internally in one of the four buckets. Combat, Survival, Stealth, or Workshop. The changes they've made today addresses gaps in how the categories scale and specialize. Previously, fur and polar bear armor were both tier 2 armor, providing similar solutions for arctic survival and similar expense costs. They have reduced the effectiveness and cost of fur, keeping it tier 2, and have moved polar bear armor to tier 3, using more advanced materials and reducing the polar bear pelt requirement. Stealth armors provide a unique benefit with a large stealth buff, but became too heavily weighted in this direction while lacking the baseline performance. They've increased the baseline stats for the set, but lowered the stealth buff as well. As with the addition of other talents, they could still reach incredibly high performing levels without becoming immune to threats. They've added two new armor benches this week, so you have an option at every tier, allowing for easier grouping of different classes of armor and providing a simpler system for us to add and adjust armor sets in the future. They added cured leather to the drying rack. The tier one drying rack uh, now makes cured leather when you put leather and tree sap in there. The tier two textiles bench also stays the same except for the move of polar bear armor and hunter armor to the tier three bench to account for their balance changes. The two new benches are the tier three advanced textiles and the tier three electric textiles. The tier three advanced textiles bench can craft the new wayfarer armor, cured leather armor, and pre-existing hunter and pole bear armors. It can also craft platinum weave, a new material required for the wayfarer and cured leather and rebalancing hunter armors. The tier four electric bench can now craft all armor sets from tiers one, two, three, and alongside a composite armor. The scorpion and sandworm boss armor can be crafted to any of the three textiles benches. What does this mean? That means they added a bunch of armor benches to the game and kind of sorted the armor. The electric textiles bench can make every single armor and is the only one that can make composite. All three do the sandworm, scorpion, rope, and leather backpack. As mentioned before, there's new armor sets. The Wayfarer and the Cured Leather Armor Set are now craftable at Tier 3 Advanced Textiles Bench, and also the Electric Textiles Bench as well. The Wayfarer requires a new material Platinum Weave, where the Cured Leather requires both materials, the Cured Leather and Platinum Weave. Hunter Armor now requires Platinum Weave and Cured Leather. And it's been three months since they said that they needed to, people needed to remove their characters before 90 days. Uh, we got a 90 day limit error this week. In the last few weeks, people have been losing characters. They've been disappearing from players' accounts without explanation. After an investigation, they basically stated that they originally were meant to have a 90-day timer on ongoing prospects as a failsafe for server storage, but that it wasn't meant to be activated because they were to come up with more sophisticated server solutions. But it was mistakenly activated and went unnoticed. And three months rolled around, and people were losing their characters. So that's been turned off, and basically, if you have a character on the dog tag screen the lost character screen appearing as a result you remove from prospect on the remove from prospect button on your character select screen and it will revive them and return them to your list so we're going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit about the armors and the new benches and kind of show you how to craft them and what they look like and the first thing we're going to mention is advanced textiles bench is learnt in tier three and once you unlock the advanced textiles bench you unlock the wayfarer chest armor set and the cured leather armor set. Wayfarer requires platinum weave to craft for all pieces. 
The Wayfarer set will give you physical resistance, cold and heat resistance, and explosion resistance. The set bonus for the Wayfarer armor set for all five pieces is plus 5% desert exposure resistance and negative 10% water consumption. The Cured Leather Chest Armor Set gives you a physical cold heat and exposure resistance, and the set bonus for the Cured Leather Armor Set will give you plus 10% health regen and plus 10% stamina regen. You can also go to Tier 4 and learn the Electric Textiles Bench. This is crafted for steel, electronics, concrete mix, and steel screws. It does require 2,500 electricity to run and has a plus 50% crafting speed. This allows you to craft the composite armor set. So you may be asking yourself, how do you make cured leather? Well, I'm glad you asked. Cured leather now can be crafted in your drying rack. And then the drying rack, all you have to do to make cured leather is have leather, which is six leather and two tree sap per cured leather. Once you put the tree sap and the leather in there, you'll see it start crafting cured leather. Takes about 33 seconds per cured leather. So here are the new two textile benches here on the left hand side. And of course our old textile bench on the right hand side. This first one right here is the electric textile bench. And this is the advanced textile bench. And this being just the regular textiles bench, of course. And the electric textiles bench, you could craft every single piece of armor. As we stated earlier, this is also the only place you can craft now composite and also repair composite. As you see in the fabricator, you no longer have any armor sets that you could craft in the fabricator. It's been taken out and you cannot repair composite gear in the fabricator anymore. It has to be repaired in the electronic textiles bench. So wherever the armor is made is where you repair it now. So this has all the armor sets and platinum weave. Platinum weave requires 30 fiber and one platinum ingot to make. Once you craft it, you come up with Platinum Weave. In the Advanced Textiles Bench, you can craft the two new armors, the Hunter, the Sandworm, and the Scorpion. Leather Backpack Rope, and you can also make Platinum Weave. So let me note that the Advanced Textiles Bench and the Textiles Bench both craft all the armors in the game except for Composite. You only have to make an Electric Textiles Bench to craft Composite Armor. So we now have all the armor crafted here in the Advanced Textile Bench. And we're going to kind of show you what it looks like real quick. This is what the Wayfarer armor set looks like. And the Wayfarer armor set looks like it's got some kind of like tubes and connections and whatnot on it. Pretty neat looking helmet. The back's got like a little tank on the neck. Looks like it's made out of a cloth material, but it's also got some kind of containers on it. I don't know. Maybe it's a liquid cooling system. Who knows? All right. And next, we're going to go ahead and show you the cured leather. And this is the cured leather armor set. Looks like we got us a little pouch here for, I don't know, rocks or berries or something like that. Looks like we got some kind of sheath here, maybe, in the middle. It does have a pistol on our barn. There's no pistol there. So, just for decoration, it may seem. And it looks like we got some pouches on the rear and maybe another bag or pouch. And take off the, ar the head armor. Yeah, so the head armor piece is just a little piece of leather that goes around your neck and your front as so and that's secured leather armor set and we got the change log this week and the new content this week they added all the new armors and everything we just displayed and made the different changes to the tiers rebounds the armor sets allowing better progression through the tiers this is something i really like that they did add this week they did increase the durability on most armor pieces notably composite and nano armor and made some armors cheaper they increased the physical damage resistance on leather armors and scorpion armor it says here, the workshop armors are now repaired at the advanced and electric textiles benches. As you can see, we're in a machining bench and I'm actually still able to repair armor. It says you can still repair the workshop armor here at the fabricator and the machining bench. Here's the electric textiles bench. Cannot be repaired. That's odd. Wonder why I'd say it in the patch notes it could be repaired there, but it can't be. Neither can the CX-400. 
just the fabricator and the machining bench. Updated the hunter armor set to use cured leather as for repairing. Again, they mentioned workshop armors are now repaired at the advanced and electrical textiles benches. Once again, they removed gold costs from the composite armor. And in the thick section this week, they updated all icons to use the correct setting. And then they did it again. They did fix an issue where the rustic storage options did not benefit from the storage increased talents. Any newly crafted storage device will now benefit from those talents. Fixed offline characters still checking real world time instead of the game time for leaving characters behind. And for the future content this week, talk about the grasslands, the grasslands. A little bit more about the volcanic biome and placements. Talk a little bit more about juvenile creatures and ice cool pack. Juvenile creatures undergoing domestication can now eat from filled food troughs and sleep in animal beds. Added new temporary animal bed item. All we need now is pterodactyls, right? They added in the base pass of the buffalo saddle. Adding our dog to attack audio in event. Apparently somebody told me that quad means quadrant. Talk a little bit more about the MOA and its animations assets. Jumping, eating, sleeping, and attacking. Looks like they may have updated the talent tree and prospects for New Horizons and organizing mission layout. Another mention of the R dog. Another mention of the Tundras. They added a placeholder recipe for the saddle, animal bed, food trough, as well as a development prospect for testing mount taming and spawning. Out of the missing MOA skeleton animation curve. Looks like they may be adding a spotlight to the game and a tripod spotlight deployable. Not yet available. And that's kind of all I see in this week's change log. And that's it for this week, guys. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video to like the video. That helps with our YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel for weekly Icarus content updates and streams. We stream Friday and Saturday, 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to whenever. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.